Okay, and welcome back. You know, in, in answering a lot of your questions on our blog, and I appreciate those comments coming in, we're up to, boy, about 100 a day now, and that's, it's really fun to communicate with you guys. But I want to tell you, uh, one of the companies that we do get a fair amount of inquiries about is a company called Oryx. Now, I announced close to a year ago, I guess it was, Gary, that I had purchased stock in Oryx, uh, did part of their private placement, gave them a bunch of money, to, for me, maybe not for you, but for me, <laughs> Uh, and, and the stock is down right now from where it was, but what's new, all the stocks are down right now a lot. I have a lot of faith in Oryx for a couple of reasons. One of them is the company's president, Gary Cope, who's with me right now, and also the company's vice president of exploration, Ben Whiting. Both of these guys are incredibly competent. Uh, ben has got a pedigree in terms of the technical end of the business that's a mile long, and Gary, in terms of an entrepreneur, financier, et cetera, is, is second to none. Let's talk about what you guys are doing. Kind of first of all, if you could start out, either one, doesn't matter. What exactly, if you were to tell somebody in one minute what Oryx was all about, what would you say? What I'd say is that uh, we're explorers. Mm -hmm. That's our strength, is that we go out and we explore for precious metal deposits, uh, gold and silver. And if you were in North America, the number one area for exploring for gold and silver is Mexico. It's produced more silver than anywhere else in the world. That's our focus, is Mexico for the North American area. And if you are looking at the European region, um, the number one metals producer for precious metals is Sweden. Most people don't think about Sweden from a mining perspective, but it really is a cornucopia of deposits. Companies like Boliden and Lundin Mining got their start in Sweden. We're in the same trend as the start of Boliden. It's in the Schleftio mineral trend in northern Sweden. And we have a gold deposit there that just topped the one million ounces of gold. We have a joint venture in Mexico with the biggest silver mining company in the world, which is Fresneo. That's on our Canetto project. So mm -hmm. our Barcelle in Sweden, our Canetto in Mexico gives us two stable mining jurisdictions for exploring for gold and silver. Gary, switching back to Sweden just for a second, and Ben, I'm, gl I'm glad you brought that up and I appreciate it, but you got involved over in Sweden, if I'm not mistaken, less than a year ago. And, and I remember that you and I were discussing the, the, the prospects for the company and you were very, very bullish on the situation in Sweden. How do you feel now? Uh, the same way, Al. I mean, we yeah. are very, very bullish and even probably more bullish than we, when we first talked due to some results we've got from our airborne and ground geophysics, which is shown a multitude of new targets that we didn't know existed. So, you know, at the time we talked before, we were pretty excited about the existing known gold deposit, which, as Ben said, has over a million ounces of 43101 and fully permitted yeah. for mining, yeah. which is huge. I mean, because that's the first question we get asked in Sweden is, yeah, you got some ounces, but are they ever going to let you mine it? Well, it's already permitted for mining, and we've got a 25-year life on that permit. So. Uh, yeah, we're, we're as excited as we've ever been. Um, you know, the stock's trading at 55 down like everybody else. But the nice thing about Oryx's stock is that there's some value in the ground already there that yeah. exceeds where we're trading at. So sure. um, we're just getting underway. We're going to be <laughs> drilling here in the next two to three weeks to start our drilling program. And we, uh, we think that'll just continue on the same way it did at, at Orco. You know, one thing I want to say here, and then I've got a question for Ben about the situation in Mexico. But one thing I want to say is, the past couple of weeks, you know, my advice on our blog has been keep your powder dry. You don't want to sell anything right now unless you really desperately need the money. And the reason I say that is because, you know, most of the companies, most of the junior mining companies are off as much as 50, 60 percent. Now, fortunately, Oryx is not. Oryx is off a little bit, but it sure as heck isn't 50 percent or thereabouts. Uh, with the future that this company has, it strikes me, and don't take this as being investment advice because it's not, because I'm not a registered investment advisor, but it just strikes me with the fundamentals, it makes a lot of sense. Ben, what are you guys going to be doing in Mexico this year? In Mexico, with our joint ventures with uh, Fresnillo, is setting up for a new phase of diamond drilling. And Conetto is not in the troubled area of Mexico. You think of more in the, the steep mountain Barrancas is where more of the difficulty is. Uh, that have been in the news. Um, the project of Canetto is in the um, Mesa Central, the central plateau lands that host some of the, the greatest silver deposits in the world. But it's generally open terrain. 
So you can drive right to the project and you can see what's happening in an area. So we're feeling much more comfortable than many companies are in working in Mexico. But diamond drilling um, with Fresneo on both resource evaluation and exploring some of the new veins is the key for that project. I'll tell you what's really interesting. You bring up Mexico and about a year ago, Gary, I'm sure you remember this, but we were very, very interested in talking with mining, uh, mining executives like yourself on the record about the situation in Mexico, and Gary was the only, only person who stepped up to the plate and said, yep, it's important to discuss that. It's important that your listeners are aware exactly what the situation is in Mexico. And I applaud you for doing that, as, as did our listeners. Now, you guys aren't having any trouble, though. Well, I mean, I mean per se, you know. When you say we aren't having any trouble, we've 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 had a few minor incidents. Uh, nothing, thank God, nobody in our our staff or crew have, have been hurt or anything else. But, but you have to be very careful, and you have to do business differently from when we started in Mexico. I mean, we uh, we now uh, are very careful not to have single people driving on the roads at night. Uh, we want everybody in pairs or more, and and traveling in daytime. And, it's 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 just prudent right now. Al. There's a lot of kidnapping going on. There's a lot of armed robberies going on at night, stopping cars on the road, taking people's trucks. You know, it, it uh, it's just prudent way to do business there now. I mean, why would you do it any differently? It, to me, to me, it just doesn't make any sense. But in terms of now, Ben, you've worked in in Mexico for a lot of years, and, and I'm not trying to take the spotlight off of Gary here because he has too. But you've been down there, boots on the ground for an awful lot of years, and I think what's going on right now may not be, yeah, it, to say it's, it's not different than it was, let's say, 10, 15 years ago would be a gross misunderstatement, but I don't, from everyone I've talked with, it's not a bad place to be in our business. I have spent a lot of time there, and within projects like ours, it really takes a team. Gary's work makes my work possible. Right. I do spend more time on the ground in Mexico, but without the team that we have behind us, getting the finances in order, getting the technical consulting, and presenting the story to the investors and to the um, news, like this, the, this show indeed. Um, without that part, I couldn't do my job. And I would also like to acknowledge the, the good people we have in Mexico. You've got a great team, so, Ben. Yeah, right. I mean, it's yeah, a great team. We uh, were fortunate enough to meet a lot of these people at your wedding about a year ago. Yeah. And <clears throat> some very, very great people. My personal opinion, I continue to stay invested in probably a half a dozen companies uh, in Mexico, and one of my largest holdings, in the interest of full disclosure, is, is Oryx. Now, Oryx is also a sponsor on our website. What does that mean? Any information that you want to get on this company, all you have to do is click on their banner, and boom, there it is, as is their sister company, Orco. Now, having said that, it sounds to me like there should be a lot of optimism for your situation in Sweden, and from, what's, from what I'm hearing you say about Mexico, full steam ahead. It's certainly what I'm looking forward to. Um, Conetto itself is a project that has over 40 veins that are ready for exploration drilling. So we know we have the targets, we just need to spend money, and our joint venture partner is bringing that money in the, the deal that, it, that they'll set up, is a $2 million per year for the next three years is what the exploration is, and they will be providing that part of the money. Um, we've provided the claims. What's wrong with that picture? Absolutely nothing. Don't construe this as being investment advice. Neither Ben nor Gary nor myself are investment advisors. I appreciate them taking some time to visit with us. Stick around. Big Al's going to be right back with Jack Crooks from Weiss Research. We're going to talk currencies. <laughs>